Voy a Cheers. Okay, I just want to put some things into content. So, going back, two days before lockdown, I actually got announced in the country, and my daughter got sent home from school with a slight little cough when we went over. Luckily, that day, um, I went to Macro, because as a business sort of thing, so I've got a card, one of those things, and bought some ginormous bags of chicken and other meat products and sausages and and preservatives and things like that and jams. Uh, just because the hype was going over and people getting a bit scared and that sort of thing, I thought what I'll do, just in case lockdown does happen, I'll go to a wholesaler and get some stuff. And I really, really rammed my freezer from that and farm foods. Um, she got sent home the same day, I then had to pick up my other two kids and I pick up my son from, from a different school. So we got all, all sent home and we got told we had to wait seven days um, before she can come back to school. Just before the seven days, no, so it was two days before lockdown, so going back, that was actually before lockdown, um, seven days. And then suddenly on the seventh day, the government changed it as 14 days. So we had to wait another seven days. The day, I think that one or two days before that my kids were due to go back to school, um, lockdown got announced and the whole country went crazy, didn't it? Yeah, and the shops were empty. I did that video, we walked through and things were empty, but luckily I still had a massive prep of stuff inside the shed. I also had a prep inside the freezer, fridge and freezer and my cupboards were completely stocked like they usually are anyway. Right, so that is the content where we're actually being. And since lockdown, we have been in our house and sort of on there. We are a, a what we what we call a shielding family, um, an at-risk family due to health issues for my wife and also my kids. There's six of us inside the family, where three of my kids have ASD, autism spectrum disorder, and one of them also has. Um, not an eating disorder, but an eating problem where he was tube fed for a very, very long time. Um, so, so it's actually quite hard to find foods for him to actually eat. So, is that an issue? Yes, it can be an issue in, the, in, the, in what we are. So as I said, we are a shielding family. So we've got letters from the government and from the council and from the NHS that say we can't leave the house. Even my wife's got emails and text messages saying she can't even technically sleep inside the same bed as me. She has to use a different toilet and, and she has to stay two meters apart from everyone else inside the house. Is that realistic? We have a family of six, where my oldest is 10 years old, my daughter's nine, uh, nine in a couple of weeks, and then I've got a, a six-year-old and a five-year-old son. So, can't really tell them to stay away from your mother. So, therefore, we stay in. Well, as a family, we go out probably once a week inside the car, which is climate controlled, air conditioned, sort of um, with environmental sort of thing, um, sort of filters inside the car. Um, we just tend to go for a drive around Norfolk just to see some sceneries from inside the car, just to get a change of scenery. Um, but every so often, like, like today, we went over to a very secluded woodblock with a river and we had a picnic lunch outside watching the fish jump eating the flies and then get back into the car again and again seeing no contact with people whatsoever. Right, so what does all this mean? To, to, because we are a shorty family, um, we got a letter from the government stating that we could be getting some additional support. Not in financial, but in edible sort of system. And then one day, I had a knock on the door, not realising anything, and I had one of these type of boxes. When we first looked at this is fantastic. Yeah, we've been given stuff because we can't but we we can't get to the shops. Um, I can't stand outside the shops and wait in, just in case I get the, the virus and bring it back to my kids and bring it back to my wife who's um filming. We tried getting on to um oh, what's it, they um the deliveries. I couldn't find those deliveries. Um, even though we got e emails to say we are a high priority, um, we tried registering and it was just really, really hard. Luckily, we got one sort of sent through to us, but my mother works in, um, in a co-op so she can get some stuff and she just drops it. And when I really need necessities, she drops it outside the door and I can pick it up that way. So we got given one of these boxes. Right, as I, as I can see, these boxes are generic for the entire sort of country really. And it's meant to be a set of food for a week. 
I reckon it's a set of three for a week, probably for one people, one person, maybe two. A family of six, four kids and two adults. What we've got in here is going to very, very, it's a really, really stretch your imagination. If you've got no other means of getting food coming into you in, in some other ways, or you've got to break the, break the law or rules, or break the rules and have to go out to a shop and, and potentially cause potential health risks to my family to support myself if we can't get these um, additional sort of foods coming in. But now we can actually get some additional foods coming in, but this is also still a big helpful because as I said, I am self-employed and I don't get no money at all from YouTube. So um, if you did want to subscribe to me, it'd be really nice just to bump them up from a thousand subscribers, just to help with a little bit over here. But my business is bushcraft. Um, because we can't have any face-to-face -face contact, I can't actually go out and do those sort of things. So, um, I'm relying just on the general sales of my bushcraft equipment through eBay. Um, luckily, it's bumped up and um, we're getting ourselves by. Sort of come around there. Now, I'm going to show you what we've got inside my box now. And then, at the end of the week, I'm, I'm, I'm going to give you a week on a government ration box or government, a week on a government food box. I'm going to see how many different meals can I get from this and how far will this box stretch for a family of six. As I did say, I do have some products inside my freezer um, which I will be substituting some of these, or sort of bulking some of these things up because it is impossible to feed a family of six on what I've got in here. It is just physically impossible um, without giving malnutrition and having health visitors coming down on top of me. But, as I say, I did go to Macro, I did buy some stuff, and um, and if I do have to go out, I tend to go to Macro because it's a much it's a wholesaler, not many people go in there, so therefore there's hardly any sort of chance of me actually spotting it or contacting it. And they have really, really big, big things on there. It's more than two meters, more like five meters on there. So that's enough waffle. I'm going to show you what a typical food parcel actually has. This week, I've had two in one week. This turned up today, and I had one can up a couple of days ago. So, what do we have? Right, so, I'm going to get this stuff out, and then I'll give you some sort of rough idea. So, for breakfast time, uh, this week we got given a, a box already. Breakfast we have this a couple of weeks, but last week, we got given this random box of cereal. Don't know what it is, don't know what's inside it. Second issue, We've got a nut allergy in the house, we've got a dairy allergy in the house, we've got an egg allergy in the house, and also orange. They do say you can you can state what allergies you've got. We've done that and you still get the roughly the same thing anyway. So, so there's only a couple of people who could eat this. Please when you get the cereals, you can actually see what's actually inside. Right, so to go with the breakfast, This week we've got two cartons of um, skimmed milk. Sometimes you get semi-skimmed, sometimes you get skimmed, but again, if you notice that it's dairy, it's long life. I've got a dairy-free child and a dairy-free wife, so they can't actually have this. So I need to rely on coconut milk getting delivered to me at another source, um, so I come there. That's really hard to get as well. So we've got the milk. Right, so other things, so, so that's the breakfast side of it. What you do get every so often, we didn't get this week, we got in the last thing, we do get a carton of apple juice, which is quite lovely. Um, I just allowed the kids to have this just so they got some fruit drink. They have a small tumbler and we top it up with water to make it last a bit longer because six ki four kids drinking this neat doesn't really give us anything. So they have a dilute on there, but that didn't come this week. This was, we've got about this much left over from a three day gold box on there. Right, for lunches, so what we've got to really look at, we, we, every week we get given a loaf of bread. We also get given so this, some apples. So this week we got two bags of five apples. And we also got a big bag of oranges. We've had satsumas in the past to say, one of my kids can't have these, so we'll just have the light on here, the apples. So, let's go with that. Um, not a lot really get given. We've got a tin of po um, chopped pork, so uh, like spam sort of thing. Um, but also this week we also got given a tin of meatballs, one tin of meatballs on there. But we've got that. We also get given three tins of soup every week. 
And so, a couple of tins of tomato, and a tin of vegetable pine soup. Yeah, so we've got it in there. Um, milk in it, my daughter can't have it. Doesn't have milk. So we're okay there. So, but luckily, my kids love the tomato soup. Never had it before. Uh, since we started having these parcels, they they have a sort of tin of soup with a slice of bread, um, sort of on there, just to give them something else. Right. Um, we also with with the, with the cereal sort of with the well, lunch sort of things, you get given a, a bag of condiments. So this week we got um, some Lynx gel, a bar of Dove soap, a whole bag of of tea bags, got some chocolate powder, and we've also got a tin of tuna. I'm one of the only ones in the family who likes tuna, so I tend to have, I tend to to toast up the bread, and I put the, to and I put, um, the tuna in, in, the, in the grill sort of on there, but I'll show you that sort of stuff as we go over. Um, another typical one, say, this came in a couple of days before we didn't have to open this one up yet, so it's more tea bags. We've got instant coffee inside this one, and this one had a little, um, hotel sachets of soap sort of in there. So they vary dependently of what you actually get. Right, so that is my lunchtime sort of stuff. Right, so my dinner things, so let's just clear this out of the way and I'll get the dinner stuff. Okay, there we go. So for, for dinner times, um, you, you generally get given two, three meals. You can probably get about three or four if you really bulk it out and, hang on and put other things with it. But every week, we've been given a bag of spuds. So we, uh, they're either reds or whites, depending on what they've got that week. Um, the other carbohydrates you get given is some sort of pasta. Uh, usually it's always sketchy. I've never really seen, uh, but we saw some macaroni. Uh, um, for the first two weeks, we got given two tubs of uh, two bags of macaroni. And what when, when you get them, they are like a 500 gram bag. Um, it's like one pot. I've got one here, actually. Yeah, so this is the, the amount of macaroni you would get um, sort of on, on the system. I'd know that because I filled one up when I used one of them, but I've got loads of pasta um, in the house because I bought a five kilogram, sort of 10 kilogram bag of pasta from the macro before this even happened. So I've just been going through that. So when we get these, I've been storing them up um, in dry storage just in case we run out of that and I can't get any more food, we've still got to back up. So really what I'm using my boxes for really is just keeping my supply of food in backup and storage available. So if these, these stop and I still can't get out, I've got some food back up. So we've got the pasta. And then to go with that, every week you get given a, we've been given a, a jar of bolognese. You see we just go with granny. Um, either one big tin or two little tins of Tomatoes or peeled tomatoes. This is peeled plum tomatoes. Um, I'll be giving chopped tomatoes and that sort of stuff. But that sort of bulk that up. When I do my spag bowls, I use all the kind of stuff all in one go. Make one really big one. We have our meal. We then put it inside a Tupperware container in the fridge. And that sometimes, usually the lunchtime for the next day. Um, a bit of bread. Toast it. Toast one bit of bread and a, some stuff on that. But again, you'll see this as we go through. We've got a bolognese. We also got a bag of carrots, so these little carrots this week. I've had to take four carrots out of here because they came a little bit off. This is still a mushy. Oh, there's still one here as well. Yeah, today they came a little bit mushy, so we've actually been giving them to the. They, they got washed and sent to the guinea pigs, but you usually get a bag of carrots, usually a lot better quality than that. But today they're a little bit mushy. Um, this week as well, we also got given a tin of kidney beans. Um, so I could bulk this right up and have the, the, the pasta, kidney beans, the bolognese, so we've got the carbohydrate inside there. And I reckon with a bit, with this, the tin and that, um, I could probably get and the carrots, which I can sell for some, I'd probably get two, two full meals out of that, maybe three. Um, actually, no, I'll leave that because so we've got, we also got given a bag of rice. You always, you always get a bag of rice as well. This 500, this 250 gram bag of rice, and she does have a whole family of six. So it's quite nice. So I'll probably do something with that, the kidney beans, and a few spices I've got inside my cupboard, maybe some sort of cumin sort of. If you, if you look back at one of my um, ration videos, I've actually did that something before with the cumin rice and, and that and fried, and I've fried these 
a little bit of olive oil, a little bit of vegetable oil, and that would work quite well. And for dessert wise, we've got a one tin of fruit cocktail. As you sometimes get one or two. I think I actually got two this week, but we actually ate one tonight with some with some um, powdered custard, which we made. So I think we might have had two. I can't remember. And my son emptied it today, my five-year-old, um, into the cupboard, so I didn't really see too much. Um, for snacks, we get, get um, every week you get given a pack of digestives. Luckily, it's safe for all my kids to eat. And then final thing, we always get given two toilet rolls, and that sort of goes with soaps and that over there. And that is the box, roughly what you'd get so every week. So let's get this stuff laid out on the table now, and we'll get a full view. Okay, as you see there, this is laid out in all its glory. So this is what the government sends for a week's worth of food for a fan for an average family. So I've got a family of six. How far could I stress that? I know that my daughter, this, this food here, yes, will serve my kids fine. I will, um, that's one meal with the soups that they eat. My, my, my four kids will eat one and a half tins of tomato and half a tin of that. Yeah, so they will have that. Um, that I cut that up and they will all have that as a sandwich. That will do me one or two meals. The bread, potatoes and that sort of stuff. So really what I've got here will, will sustain my four kids. Most of the week they eat ready bread. I need to substitute the milk. Sort of coming on there. For the mains I can probably get, looking at this, three meals. Maybe four. Well, we'll see, won't we? So, if you like this, put a like down below. Remember, if you want to help support the channel and help me grow and I'll help, help hopefully support, support me as we go, please subscribe, hit that notification bell, and I'll click like. Comment, what would you do if you got given, if you had to survive on one of these? Um, would you just hope to stay in and just live off that? Or would you be what I have to do? I need to go out and risk my family's health to get out. But since getting our first priority package from Tesco's, we now get phone calls from Asda, Morrison's, Lidl, no, no, Asda, Morrison's, and Tesco's, and Sainsbury's now, each week asking, are we okay for food? Do you want to get it? We also get the Norwich County Council asking to pick up our food as well. If they can't do a delivery, we can do click and collect, and they will collect it as well. So there are people out there and supporting people who are shielding, uh, sort of on there. So just see, it's not all glory all the time. There are others in even worse situation than I am. At least I still able to risk and actually getting out of there. I try not. I go out if I have to every other day at minimum or at maximum, if not one every three days. Um, but we are sort of self-contained inside our house, which is causing some fun, trying to self-educate, sort of trying to run homeschool for kids, where a couple of them don't want to do anything and one just wants to get back to school. But that's it. Just remember, it's better be one with the hum and then to be out there fighting struggling. Until the next video, see you there. Okay, I was just putting all the stuff away and um, I cut across um, the, the onion inside the bread rack, which I forgot all about. Um, yes, we had the onion in for that week, uh, in this week's food. Um, but you usually get a tin of baked beans. I'm not sure if they replaced it this week with the kidney beans. Like I've never seen them before, so maybe they would taste of the baked beans, but I can't recall exactly. Um, Samuel seemed to think he might have seen that inside the thing, so he was one who emptied it out, so he's only five. So I'm going to include that this week, um, along with the kidney beans, and also got that as well. So hopefully this is going to be good, and let's get cooking.